Hi, my name is Sarah and welcome to Lori Farm. Today we have a busy day ahead of us, so stick around. It's a big egg. First thing we got to do is get the baby chickens separated. Right now we have the meat birds and my new Americanas together, so we're going to get them put in different areas. And, uh, we're going to band the chickens, and then we're going to let you guys name them. And then hopefully you guys will comment below and let us know some names that you want the meat birds to be. First one. Let me get you guys out of here. Oh, you little guy. What are you guys doing? We gotta get this back area cleaned up for the ducks. We're getting the meat bird coop all cleaned up for them today. Make it nice and warm and dry for them. As gross as this looks, this is like garden gold for us. We'll uh, save it for next year's garden. I'm going to shovel all this stuff up and get it outside to the outside chicken run where it'll sit all winter. I'm going to put the bedding down and we're going to get this project going. Shane's outside working on the run so we can let these birds play outside soon. We're really excited to uh, get these guys a happy home. These are the nesting boxes for the broilers. Um, I'm just putting fresh straw down. All they've been doing in here right now is pooping in there, but at least it makes it for easier cleanup. And when they're cold, it's a nice warm place to kind of snuggle in. This is gonna be pretty fun. What we're gonna do now, Shane came out to assist with this, is I am gonna, we're gonna band the chickens and with different colors and then we're gonna let you guys name them. So we're gonna start by grabbing one, starting with red, and then hopefully you guys will comment below and let us know some names that you want the meat birds to be. This should be pretty fun. Uh, the only one bird that, that we already have a name picked out for is the rooster, being that they're uh, big red broilers. We decided to name him Red, so that's what his name's gonna be, Big Red, Big Red the Rooster. But uh, the other uh, members of the flock, it'd be great if you guys Picked out some names for them, so. Okay, nice and loose. Okay. Oh, sweet girl. Really loose. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's cut that band off. Turn it. As tight as you can. Let's keep an eye on her, but you should be fine. Look at you, you're like laying back in my arms. Oh, you don't want to do that? You don't want to do it? All right. We'll put her in the back. Go around. When we're banding them like this, you want to keep that band really nice and loose on them because they're so young. They'll kind of grow into it a little bit, but it should always stay nice and loose on them. We've done this with quite a few of our uh, birds over the year to separate which ones are born this year versus the ones that were born uh, the year prior, but normally we just stick with one color band uh, for those. But we just thought this would be fun and an easy way to identify each individual chicken once we get some names established, so. It's okay, Red, you're gonna be a good rooster. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what names you pick for the hens. Remember to put them in the comments. And thanks for watching and check out this next video. Thank you.